be more than human. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today I'm getting to a book that a lot of my viewers have been, you know, pushing at me uh, over the last year. A lot of them were like, whoa, you like Dresden, you like urban fantasy, you like, you, you like monsters. Try Monster Hunter International. Um, so this is a book by, uh, I'm going to butcher his last name probably, Larry, uh, Correa, uh, or Correa. Um, and I didn't know a lot about this book. I knew that it was, um, well, first the name, right? Monster Hunter International. We're going to be hunting monsters, right? And then looking at the cover, I'm like, okay, that, that, that's a pretty, that's a pretty badass cover, right? Um, I purposely didn't look up anything about this book, didn't watch any non-spoiler or spoiler reviews, so I wanted to come into this fresh, give it, you know, give it its due, and see how it went. Well, this book is like, I, I, I would say, it's like one of those late 80s, early 90s, uh, like action monster movies, you know. You know, where the, you know, the guy has, you know, he's here, to, he's here to do two things. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> and so, you know, you have, you know, it starts off, you have this guy named Owen. And you don't get a lot, you don't get to know too much about him at first. Um, just that he's an accountant, hates his job goes in, works late one day, tries to sneak out, and his boss is like, hey, come in the office. I need to talk to you. And it goes in the office, and his freaking boss turns into a werewolf, and he fights him and kills him, knocks him, throws him out of the, out of the building with his bare hands. He's all tore up and gets a visit from two factions, a government agency, uh, which, you know, tells him, yeah, hey, you tell anyone about this, yeah, we'll end you. And then another faction, which is like the Men in Black, the Monster Hunter International crew. And, you know, it is very similar to Will Smith's, you know, Agent uh, J uh, in Men in, in Black, where, hey, you did something crazy, you know, you killed this werewolf with your bare hands, come try out and see if you can be one of the best of the best. And, you know, and that's kind of how, that's kind of how this starts. It's like he goes, goes into like a training, you know, training thing. And all, uh, all, <laughs> all of the characters are your, are very stereotypical characters. You got the religious, uh, you know, you got your religious guy. You got your super hot girl that people have no idea why she's here, but she's a badass and she's super, super hot. You know, you got your mysterious girl. You got your uh, perfect guy. Who, you know, you're very, very you know, late 80s, early 90s, just the perfect, the, you know, the perfect guy that are, that is dating the guy, uh, the girl that Owen, our main character, wants to be with. Of course, right? And there is a love story in this, and it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit insta lovey kind of stuff. But we're not here for that. We're here to kill some monsters. Hell yes! And see people get jacked up. And that's exactly what this. That's exactly what this book is. You know, it's. Uh, Larry does a great job describing guns. He describes guns in this book the way that Brent Easton Ellis describes clothing in American Horror Story, where he's just um, our American psycho, where he has to tell you, every, you know, so much stuff. Uh, every gun gets described, every weapon gets described, but it's cool, and it's not over, it's not too much like some sci-fi is. Um, so you're, if you don't know anything about guns, you're not going to be like, man, this is so tedious. You know, it's, and if you, but if you do know guns, you're going to really like this. Um, you know, it's just one of those classic fun, 
uh, you know, no politics. They actually kind of make fun of politics uh, uh, at, at certain points in this uh, in this book um, where they're with their with their group. But I don't want to kind of give you any spoilers as to the story because the story itself is pretty easy to figure out once you're in it. Not a lot of even the twists that are supposed to come aren't really you know if you've read a lot of uh of uh fantasy you're gonna see these things coming but really it's about the crazy ride the fight scenes uh, de describing the different monsters what they can do that's what this book is about um and it was you know it was fun um if i have anything negative to say about this book is that it is probably too long um and so i was looking at the other books after i finished this and maybe larry knew that maybe he knew that the book was too long because i think every, there's like seven books right now and every single book gets shorter and shorter and shorter like especially in like yeah look just looking at the audio i didn't look at the pages but if you're looking at the audio the first book is like 23 hours and the newest book is like 14 hours so you know, I, th I think he kind of realized that maybe he needs to kind of pull it, pull it down a little bit. So that is good. Um, but like I said, this one was probably a little too long and the stakes were very high. Like if you've ever read Sam and Slim, like that first book, the stakes are really high. So I'm going to be interested to see how he comes in with the second book. Um, maybe this, you know, he just wanted to be crazy with this book to get it sold to the publisher. So I'd like to see the second book and how they bring it a little bit more back down. But yeah, awesome, shoot 'em up, fun, uh, fun time. Glad you all recommended it to me. Let me know, have you read Monster Hunters International? Do you, did you like it? Is this book on your radar? Um, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. My the link to my Patreon is in the description. Pretty cool stuff going on there. And remember, be more than human.